Hello everyone, and welcome back to VHS Reaction. It's been a while, it's actually been like a couple of months, I think, months or weeks, since the last one did one of these. But yeah, we're back, it's episode 19, we're almost close to the big 20. So yeah, we're back, uh, cause Baddington, out of nowhere, dropped a new video, called Non-Existent Video. Makes perfect sense. And we're gonna react to that today. And as always, uh, if you guys like these VHS reactions, like, comment, and subscribe. We are very close to 290. So, yep, we're almost close. Thank you guys as always for the appreciation on that. As well as if you want me to react to any other VHS stuff, comment that down below. And yeah, let's get into this video. Hello, new Fredbear employee, and welcome to the mascot costume assembly training tape. You're welcome. There are two types of suits, Fredbear and Bonnie Bon. These suits double as those, those, both those eyes. suits and wearable costumes for performers. Th those this eyes are just... Cost efficient and eliminates any differences in appearance as to not break the immersion. The wearable costumes will only be used when an animatronic is in repair. That pop not anymore, because that's not the looks of it. Something oh god, it's in the suit. Oh no! He sees he sees all. That's 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 purple man. Oh, hello. That's not like the prototype of Freddy. Oh, it's but oh, it's saying happy birthday. That's oh, it's oh, no, it's coming! It's coming for us! Oh God! The suit is made up of three layers. The first layer is a fabric costume that we normally see. The second layer is a fiberglass shell that forms the structure of uh, the character. So that wasn't the third Freddy, layer unless is it was Freddy. This layer is the closest to your body when being worn. It will help support all the weight of the heavy components and is responsible for holding all the spring locks. Spring locks are the locks that hold oh, all the springs nice used to attach to the animatronic. However, these springs can oh. be very dangerous oh, if the oh, is not carefully. Oh god! Let's begin the training. To prep the costume into suit mode, oh, we shall hands. start by winding up all the spring locks oh. with a hand crank. Insert the hand crank into the lock sockets located behind the animatronic. Jesus there are ten Christ. lock sockets in total. Two on each limb, one on the back of the body, and one behind the head. Oh god. I, f I now feel sorry Next, for after remove the gloves and feet. Lock. Oh god. You'll need to remove the head before taking off the costume. Eyes Simply remove gone. the head as well as a fiberglass structure underneath. Then peel off the fabric costume. Once removed, you'll need to detach the fiberglass shell from the exoskeleton. Lastly, remove the exoskeleton from the animatronic. To put on the the spring locks too much. Next, you'll need to reattach the fiberglass shell back on. Then, put on the fabric layer. Once but applied properly, the hands the feet, put on the gloves and feet. What Lastly, happened to the ends of the feet though? You'll need to though? put on the head, but before you do, you'll need to put the head into performer mode by winding up a small socket on the inside of the head to reveal the fake eyes. Perfect foot for you to see. 
In the event of a screen <laughs> oh, failure, God, the do not dead. panic. Keep as still as possible and call for help. Calm your breathing and have a partner wound up the hand crank to lock the spring locks once more. But there's ten then of them safely though. Safely and gently remove the suit. Yep, something happened. There's ten of those locks. One of them probably broke. Don't know. I see you. Oh, I see. Okay, that's the bite. Red bad. Did you bite someone again? That's that's the stir. That's getting creep vibes. Jesus. Bear, what have you done? It, I bit, I bit someone. Yes, yes, we could tell. The, yes. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, maybe somehow uh, you could check inside those suits in the background. Oh, God. Poor team sitting inside the empty house. Ready to rip the park in the smile. Bonnie dancing in the dark. Yeah, no, what does this song? Foxy meets the happy man. So the happy man is double guy. You are gift. You are now gifted with the fifth. Okay. So the happy guy is the full man. Okay. Oh, it's the music box. Michael. Yes? There's something I want to show you. Before your brother died, something else happened. Something was wrong with the suits. Watch. Where's spring lock failure? <laughs> yep! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no, that's open. That's open now. Let me tell you a secret. What's the secret? Same thing happened to your father. So she's talking to Michael after, okay. It killed him. But only for a while. And then he came back as spin trap. He's still out there. Do you want to find him? It's gonna rise. What's gonna happen? Here we go. Yep. Yep. Hello. Hello. I'll show you. Fazbear's Flight. The horror attraction. That's a, ni that's a nice design. That's, that's very 80s. That's dope. Don't worry about the times, dates, or locations. You'll know when it happens. Oh, he's- oh. Hello! There will be a gasoline tank in the back next to the second exit. Your father will be there in the building with you. You will look different. But you will know it's him. Unless it's the other guy. Could be the other guy. Then we can end it. I know how you feel, Michael. It's a lot of responsibility. But when this is done, we'll be free. You will be free, too. Okay, so this is Henry's door to talk to Michael. out. The music! Well, folks, it's been a real pleasure having you here tonight. We had to say goodbye, but cheer up, there's a light tomorrow. 
And just remember that a friend is the best thing you could ever have. When Bob gets you down, a friend will be there to help. <laughs> Good tip right there. Yeah. Those voices are spot on. Having that fun time, I got stuck in a water machine. They need to make a game of this. These voice actors need to be in the next FNAF game. Or a DLC or something. Please, that's super nice. That's cutting off. Yeah, that's cutting off. That's cutting off into an advert. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're gonna skip that advert. Yes. There it is. Okay, what have we figured out? So, it does appear that there is a tiny, 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 tiny scene which is present which I can't even f I can't find it sorry about that so there is a scene somewhere in this which split specifically shows the head not the head like it flicks something about Fredbear like his design of how he's built from what I'm telling. So this is basically explaining Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. As well as it's giving information about Springtrap. And the puppet, who is Henry's daughter, is in is giving Michael the instructions to go find after him and burn him. Which from we know that doesn't work. So this is kinda filling in the gap of what happens to F Michael before Finefri. Which I like that. As well as the good news, which I do like, is that the voice actors for Fred Bear and Spring Bunny are spot on, and I love that. Like, if they have, they need to do this, like they ha need to have a FNAF game, where it specifically has Fred Bear and Spring Bunny. Do it in cutscenes, any sort of name, but these two people who are doing these voices need to need to actually be the guys or people that do these voices. And I know Bad Ink is probably the Fredbear one. So literally Steel Wool or how is it? Give Baddington and whoever voice Spring Bunny to voice these characters whenever you're doing them. So literally that is all I will say. So yeah. Um hands down this is probably one of the most detailed ones. We got literally explanation of the puppet and his daughter telling Michael to deal with Springtrap, which is like, a, this is like a prologue for Nefri, which I like. So yeah. It's good. Hands down, best one I've seen, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. So I have not much to say about this, but I do like it. Like, all this stuff in this is perfect. So yeah, on that note, uh, that's all for today. And if you like this, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We're super close to 285 on and 290. So thank you all for the appreciation on those. And if you want us to react, if you want me to react to anything else, comment down below. I'll do. We still gotta do. I think there's a modern mall one. I still need to do. I need to do that, so we'll do that. And yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. See you later.